this, the, the, co the coaches were ordered, there's four, there's three on their way, apparently, so it shouldn't be very long. At Terminal uh, 1, there's be another be delay. <laughs> Captain Douglas Ord and 200 astronomers are preparing to explore the sky at night. They're planning to fly half a mile into the air to spot the Hale-Bopp comet. I'm very, uh, very excited, looking forward to it. A bit of a lo logistical nightmare, getting everybody to see the comet from, from the aircraft. It's got to be very disciplined, and the 200 people might be a bit tricky, but we'll get there, we'll do it. They're already queuing up to photograph the stars, astronomer Patrick Moore and musician Brian May. Well, I've never seen a significant comet before, ever. You know, there's all this talk about it. You see all the pictures in the books, but we've never had a chance. I mean, light pollution does mess things up a lot, you know, and you have to get out of town or on an aeroplane, as we're going to do, to get a decent sight of it. But this is the best thing, you know, I've ever been able to see as far as comets are concerned, by far. Good. Looking forward, looking forward to the flight. Good air. It's going to be a great flight, isn't it? You ready? It's really good. See you up there. Okay. <laughs> For the amateurs, there's one last vital warning from the expert. May I have a 10-second word, something I forgot to say? If you're photographing, for God's sake, don't use flash. <laughs> Come on, move along there, move along. Oh, the passengers are boarding yes, Douglas's Starlight Express. Yes, fine. Yes, good. Yeah. Um, a bit slow, 200 people all getting on at the same time. Right. But spirits are good. The cabin crew are getting in the party mood, too. It was a bit of a surprise to us because we were called out on standby about an hour ago, so it's a fun night out, isn't it? <laughs> Astronomers come in all shapes and sizes. I thought there would be more sort of um, anoraks type than, than there are. There's an awful lot of just very ordinary people, whatever ordinary people look like. So, no, they're very nice. I didn't expect them to look like that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. The what a good idea. Thank Sandwich you so much. I'm awful. Thank you very much. I love a glass of wine. Thank you. Red or white? Yeah. white That's what I thought astronomers look like. Nice <laughs> walk there. His passengers are slowly boarding to chase the comet. It's already 128 million miles away and speeding off at 60,000 miles an hour. They'll need all the magnification they can muster. Well, I thought I'd have a plan to have a look at the comet when I'm up there. I mean, rather better than my eyes, so let's see what I see. Maybe they're may useful. Maybe they're useful, I think, I think. There we are. Swiss, maybe may, may help, anyway. <laughs> that is a, another piece of scientific equipment. That's very important scientific equipment for a trip like this. Let me show you. What are we going to do? Well, we had a superb view of the comet, and um, certainly I've never seen it so well. And, uh, in fact, the sky was very really clear. A beautifully steady, of course. A aircraft, I say, a very good aircraft and brilliant display. For Patrick Moore, it's been the perfect trip. Almost. Don't use flash. You don't have anybody. Cheers, sir. Have a the paying customers have had their money's worth. For Douglas, there's just one final piece of stargazing. Can I have your, can I have your autograph? Definitely, yes. There you go. That's made my, it's made my trip, man. It's, it's really made my trip. It really has. Good. Smash it.